bull sign. What's good on my Lugia League and welcome back to another Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire Live Wi-Fi Battle. Now today, we are not here with a normal Wi-Fi Battle, we are here with week one of the Pokemon Battling Federation, the PBF for short. And guys, I am super hyped if you guys are too. Make sure you guys go ahead and destroy that like button down below because that would be very much appreciated. So, once again, I am the Detroit Red Wingles and I'm going to be taking on the Akron Aerodactyls, I do believe, if I'm wrong, I'm po I apologize. But... AKA Dalton or Nimbus Prime, I will leave his links down below if you guys can go check him out. That'd be so cool. So, we are here, guys, and I'm starting off here because I want to show you guys my team. If you guys do not know what the PBF is, basically, it's like Major League Sports with Pokemon. So, you draft Pokemon, you have your opponent each you know, each week, you battle them, you write down your Pokemon stats or your kills and your deaths, and it just works like that. So, we each draft 10 Pokemon plus 1 Mega. So, I know what this person's team, I know what Dalton's team is. So, that means we can both counter-team each other based on the Pokemon we think will have threats to us. So, the team that I am bringing today is... Well, you guys can only see the top screen, but we are bringing... Uh, hold on. Props to my boy, A.V. Gujra. Thank you so much for joining me all these Pokemon. I really do appreciate it. But, here we have Thunder, uh, Thunderous, a.k.a. Cloudman, who has got... Uh, who's holding that life orb. He's got Thunderbolt, U-Turn, Hidden Power, Ice, and Thunder Wave. My opponent has a lot of fast Pokemon. I need to paralyze things. That's basically it. Uh, his hasty nature. He's got Prankster. Then we have High, the Fortress, who's holding the leftovers with Volt Switch, Rapid Spin, Stealth Rock, and Block. I'm running Block because uh, he has Excadrill. If he wants to switch into Rapid Spin the Rocks, I can block him and then switch out. And he's got uh, Lonely Nature. and Not Lonely. Um, Is it Lonely? It's Bold. It's Bold. It's Bold. Lonely would be plus attack. Uh, then we uh, hold holding the leftovers, of course. And then we have It's a Trap, the Bisharp, the Focus Ash Bisharp, with Knock Off, Iron Head, Sucker Punch, and Pursuit, with Defiant. It's got Adamant Nature. Then we have Duckaroo with the Eviolite, Porygon 2 with Tri Attack, Psy Shock, Recover, and Thunder Wave. Uh, he's Modest Nature, and he's got the Download Ability. Then we have SoundCloud, the Mega Altaria. This is my Mega that I drafted. With Hyper Voice, Dragon Pulse, Earthquake, and Agility. He's got the, uh, what's, what's the nature? Naive? Naive Nature. Natural Cure Ability. And last but not least, we have Fatty the Rotom W with a Levitate. He's got the Bold Nature, Hydro Pump, uh, Volt Switch, Hidden Power, Ice, and Willow Wisp. Hidden Power, Ice because he has a Guard Chomp that could be a threat. So that's my team. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is challenge Dalton. Last time we did have an error that was um that uh, because... It wasn't really, like, not because, um, one of our Pokemon was illegal, was his, one of his Pokemon was illegal, but, um, now everything should be alright, at least I hope so, because there was a little bit of time in between, I just want to get this done, to be honest, because I'm hype, I am so excited for this, I, I gotta remember to take notes, and I got to remember to take a picture of his team, that is going to, that, that's gotta be something I do, I'm gonna put my phone, like, on my 3DS, or something like that, I don't know, but I, I'm excited, hopefully you guys are excited for this too, it's about to go down, it's about to go down, it's about to go down, down. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and click uh, select music 7. I'm going to click battle start. I don't even know what music 7 is, but I thought it would be a nice music choice. But you guys can't hear it. You guys are listening to that powerful glitch X city. So looking at his team. Oh boy. Oh boy. Hold on. These Pokemon are level 100. I must have selected non-handicap mode. Alright guys, so we are back, and what happened was I accidentally didn't click like normal Ruser, and some of our Pokemon were level 100, and they were their actual level, so that's all that happened, but we are back now, and looking at his team, he has Garchomp, Chestnut, Crocodile, Mega Beedrill, that's his Mega, Lando T, and Gengar, so Gengar has no items, preparing for that knockoff, which is fine, because I can use Sucker Punch to take it out, which is really, really good, but uh, for his leads, I'm honestly really, really thinking Landorus is going to be a going to be a lead here no doubt about it just i i'm very confident that lander is, is going to be the lead but i cannot you know i'm not that confident i can't really say that honestly i think rotom is going to be my best lead because rotom kind of destroys him but i also kind of am fearing the chestnut lead on his side i honestly am so i might end up leading off with my porygon 2 which is actually going to be what i'm going to do it is going to be what i'm going to do so that is a thing that is a thing. So let's do it. Let's go ahead and jump. I didn't take a picture of his team. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. That was the one thing I said I couldn't do. All right, here. Let me go ahead and write it down really quickly. Hold on. I can just write it down here. We got, um, Lan, Do, T, Crook, Chomp. Who do you lead off with? Lando T. All right. He's got Chomp. Um, who else did he have? Uh, Gengar, 
Um, chestnut. Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Um, you know what? We can deal with that later. So, he did lead off with the Landorus, which is okay. Which is okay. Meaning I did get a special attack boost, which is really, really nice. And honestly, I'm just going to go for Psy Shock. I'm going to go ahead and try and predict that Gengar first turn. Um, I really think he's going to end up trying to switch in Gengar, thinking I'm going to try attack. And we're going to go for this. We're going to go for this powerful Psy Shock. It's not a bad play either way. He's actually just going to go ahead and knock off my Eviolite, which does suck. And I completely forgot about So <laughs> Freaking forgot about that. I am not in the mindset to battle right now. I am not. But uh, that is going to do a huge chunk. That is going to do a huge chunk. So, honestly, I'm thinking he might just double knock off here. So, in that case, I'm going to go ahead and recover. I'm going to go ahead and recover here. Because that will help me out a lot. That honestly will help me out. It's really bad that I do not have uh, I do not have my item on this Porygon 2. It's really, really bad. And I cannot believe... I have not battled in a while. I'm not going to use that as a, like an excuse or anything. But I completely forgot Lanner's head knock off. And I was trying to write down my team and stuff. but Or his, his team. Oh, oh, and it was a uh, Mega, Mega Beedrill. That's his team. Alright, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So he's actually going to go ahead and withdraw, which is fine. What's, let's see what he's going to bring in. He's going to bring in Crocodile. Okay, this is okay. So what's going to happen is we're going to go for that powerful Recover. We're going to go for Recover. And what is he going to go for? What is he going to go for here? Because I can honestly... I'm going to... You know what? I think I might go ahead and go into Altaria. It's really risky with Stone Edge, though. It is. And he might be, he might be like, Scarfed or something. What does he have? Like, a Fighting-type move? Because why else would he bring it in? He might just go for Earthquake, honestly. Honestly, I should just switch into my Rotom, but I don't want to get knocked off. That's a concern. That is a concern. Because uh, Rotom is very, very helpful. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is go into... You know what? I don't... Let's go into SoundCloud. Let's go into Altaria. We're going to try and do this. I really, really hope he doesn't go for Stone Edge here. I really, really hope. Or he misses or something. He's going to go for Crunch, which is okay. That's fine. Why does that do so much? Holy crap. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and Mega Evolve. And honestly, we can just go for... We can just go for Hyper Voice, to be honest. So I'm going to go for Hyper Voice. Everything takes a lot of damage from this. Honestly, everything. And I, I'm i pretty sure we're going to outspeed. I am timid. I am max speed. I am everything. Yes, we outspeed. This should kill. This really should. Let's go. Killed. Let's go. All right, so Crook is out of here, which is really, really good. Mega Altari gets a kill. All right, Altaria on Crook. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. That was very good. That Crunch did so much damage. So that did way too much. For some reason, I thought I would be Fairy type when I switched in, which I clearly wasn't. I clearly, I was clearly not fairy type whatsoever. But apparently we were fairy type, or we weren't fairy. Whatever. I'm, I'm just talking right now because I'm, I'm hyped, but I'm, I'm, I'm not hyped. Like I, I'm scared. Um, uh, I'm thinking Gengar is going to be a very, very prominent. Uh, I don't actually think they'll bring in Gengar. He's gonna be in Geist. It is Gengar. What is Gengar's base speed? Alright, so... Why am I in notes? Why Why am I in the notes app? Hold on, we gotta look up Gengar. Isn't it like 110? Isn't it like 110? 110. Hold on, we gotta check this. Alright, come on Bulbapede, you don't fail me now. Where are your stats, Gengar? <laughs> All right, hold on. Let's go to Pokemon DB. All right. Let's go to Pokemon DB. 110. Yep. All right. So, Mega... I don't think I outspeed. I really don't. 
I really, really don't. But you know what? We're going to try this. Altaria. What's Mega Altaria? Yep, definitely don't outspeed. Definitely, 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 definitely. So what we're going to go ahead and do, though, is tr we're going to definitely have to try and switch out here. Honestly, I'm, I'm thinking he's going to go for that Focus Blast. I really think he's going to go for Focus Blast, to be honest. Predicting my Bisharp. I am sashed. We do have to keep that in mind. I am sashed. So, what could... I, hold on. I'm trying to think. I can This would really help out with Chestnut. This really, really could help out with Chestnut. So, I want to keep this thing around. Focus Blast. Focus Blast is probably coming my way. Why did it... I didn't... Oh, I took too much time, I think. I didn't see that. I com... Well, that sucks, but we are here, and it's a trap is now here. We're not alive, and now this is where the mind games come in. I want this Gengar dead, no doubt. I think I'm just going to go for Pursuit. I can live any one hit. I'm Focus Sashed. I'm just going to go for Pursuit now. If he wants to switch out, he's dead. If he wants to stay in, I think he might be dead, because I can just follow that up with a Sucker Punch anyways. Um, I'm Focus Sashed. I can live any one hit. He can't flinch me. He, crits don't matter. He is going to go to that Focus Blast. He's going to hit it, which is completely fine with me. I know it's unfortunate that we're at our Sash now, but we did it for... We did it. We, we need this Gengar dead. This Gengar is a huge threat. It outspeeds a lot of my team. And uh, is that going to kill? That's not going to kill. That's unfortunate. But now, honestly, we can Sucker Punch. I'm just going to play it safe, to be honest. Uh, I think I will just play it safe. I'm just going to play it safe. And we're going to kill this Gengar off. So that's good. That's very good. So now I'm trying to think what he wants to bring in. That's really the question. What does this man want to bring in? I don't know. He can't bring in Beedrill because he'll get Sucker Punch. Chestnut he could bring in. Chestnut would work. Uh, Chop would work. But ev everything just gets Sucker Punched basically. Guard Chop would probably be his best because then um, I'll die from Rough Skin. So he's going to go for Rampage. which probably use the Guard Chop. Yep, that's the Guard Chop. Do I want to switch? Do I want to stay in? I'm going to go for Sucker Punch here. Uh, I'm just going to do it. It's probably a bad move, honestly. But I, I will die from Rough Skin. I'm just going to straight up die for Rough Skin. Which is a little bit unfortunate. Honestly, I just want this damage on this Guard Chomp. It really scares me. Oh, he's got Dragon Claw, which is fine. But that makes us able to go out into Rotom W. And go for Hidden Power Ice. Because Hidden Power Ice will hit the chest now if it does come in. That will. And Hidden Power Ice basically does a lot of damage to his team. He's not going to switch in Beedrill. Um, he's got Chomp, Lando, Chestnut, Mega Beedrill, which are all weak to Ice. And I have two Ice-type moves. Well, two Normal-type moves that are Ice-type. But, yeah. So, also, I'm, re I'm editing this video in Sony Vegas. So, if it looks better, just let me know. I'm going to try and get some color correcting settings for this video. So... That'll be decent. All right, so I'm just, I'm just my heart's beating so fast. I'm so scared, man. I'm so scared. But we are here. We are we are doing. We I'm I'm confident with how we're playing right now. Um, I hold on. Who else did I who else got to kill? We killed Gengar, Bisharp. Killed um. Gengar and who died? Bisharp. Mega Altaria. Both those guys died. Bishart died to Gar Chomp. Mega Altaria died to Gengar. Just writing it down in case. I don't know if I have to write who it died to and stuff, but in case this man doesn't write it down, this is just writing it down for him, basically. So if he's going to go for that D Claw, fine by me, honestly. I think he was predicting me to go for that um nice and powerful Bolt Switch, but. We're just going to go over here at Hidden Power Ice and be able to kill this thing off. So, huge threat out of the way. Huge threat, huge threat, huge threat out of the way. Very happy about that. Very happy. Um, he did not bring Excadrill, which is something to keep in mind. I can set up my rocks to whittle, hurt Beedrill a lot. I can hurt Beedrill a lot with my rocks. So, honestly, whatever he brings in, except for Lando, of course. Chestnut is probably going to be his switch right now. Honestly... Um, which is unfortunate. Lagan. That's Beedrill.
What he's going to do is try to set up probably. No, he's probably just going to he's probably going to go for protect to be honest. This thing scares me. This thing really does scare me. Uh, he's probably just going to go for U-turn. Honestly, I'm going to go out into my Fortress because Fortress honestly walls this thing. Fortress, that's the reason I brought Fortress for this battle is because he can do a lot of work against this thing right here. So here's high. And I also have Sturdy so I can live any one hit, which is really, really nice. Really, really nice. So Mega Beedrill is here. He did not go for Protect, which is unfortunate, but he is going to go for... for oh, yeah, never mind. You're supposed to go for Protect. That's fine. All right, so here, though... I think he's just going to go for U-turn. So I'm going to go for Volt Switch. I'm going to go for Volt Switch here. Look at me just zooming in on Fortress's face. We're like, Fortress, man, yeah! <laughs> All right, this Mega Beedrill scares the living daylights out of me, to be honest. But that's fine by me. Fine by me. If you never leave. I don't know why that song's in my head right now. I really don't. But yeah, talk talking about Vegas again. Vegas is really difficult at first. Um, I'm still, I still kind of suck at it, not gonna lie, I really, really do suck at it, but I think I am getting better, and my videos will look a lot better once I really, really learn how to do a lot of stuff in there, and I'm very excited for that. I want to thank all my friends for teaching me how to do that. Really appreciate that, because I probably would have never done it on my own. I probably would not have. Alright, so we're just gonna go for that U-turn, as I suspected. Actually, this is bad. I think Lando's gonna about to come out. I think Lando's about to come out. I think Lando's about to come out, which is not bad because I can I can then stealth rock. I should have just stealth rocked, honestly. Why didn't I think of that? Why did I not think of that? Why? Why did I not think of that? Because now my sash is broken. I'm not my sash, my sturdy. Huh? I'm in a predicament. This Mega Beedrill is scary. Uh, Tenzin is the Lando. He's going to intimidate me. And I'm gonna go for. He's gonna go for Volt Switch. Well, I'm. No, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Let me stop talking now. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go for Stealth Rock here, cause if I if he's gonna be switching back and forth between Landorus and uh, I want to stop all the switching, but you can knock off my leftovers. That's fine. <laughs> uh, I want to stop all the switching between Mega Beedrill and uh, this guy. So that's really really good that we got those up. Really really good. And now I'm just gonna go for Rapid Spin because I can leave this thing in here and. Um, he is just going to withdraw. He's probably going to go straight into that uh, that chestnut. Chestnut, the chestnut. And he can't leech seed me, which is really, really cool. And we're just going to rapid spin. He doesn't have any rocks, but that's all I could really do in that situation. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to block this thing. I'm going to block it. I'm going to block it. Block. Because then I can switch into P2 and just kill it. You can't leech seed. I thought I had overcoat. Oh, well, apparently you can't, but that's fine. Honestly, he's just going to get a little bit of health. We're going to go ahead and block this thing. Now we can't switch out, which is really, really good because we're just going to Volt Switch. Honestly, I don't know if we should Volt Switch. I think we should just Hard Switch. I think we should just Hard Switch. I'm going to pull the switch out into Cloud Man, the Thunderous. I hope this was the right play, to be honest. So we are here. He's going to go for Hammer Arm. How much is that going to do? Nothing. That's going to do nothing. Awesome. That is so great. Now, I want to catch that Beedrill so bad, man. So bad. He can't switch out. Which is really good. Um, I'm going to go for HP Ice. And that's going to do half, which is great. He's probably going to go for Leech Seed. Yep. And then I'm going to I'm going to U-turn. I'm going to U-turn because I don't want I don't want to hard switch and I don't want any of this Leech Seed damage coming or should I just kill this thing? Should I just kill this thing? I'm 
just gonna switch out. No, why did I not think of that? Ah, oh, the spiky shield. Now I'm gonna do damage to myself. Not very much, of course, but now he's gonna get lefties. Now I'm not gonna be able to kill him. That's unfortunate. That's very unfortunate. That was a huge misplay on my part. Alright, honestly, now there's not much point in keeping this thing around. Actually, I, this is the only thing that I have that can kill this. So I have to hit him Power Ice. I have to. Oh, I wish we could have gotten a crit. Alright, hopefully he'll kill me. He will kill me. Okay, cool. So he's not going to get any more HP back, which is really, really nice. Which is really, really nice. And since he's so slow, I can just come in and outspeed him. And I can get a special attack bonus because he's defensive. With my Porygon 2, I can come in and get a special attack bonus. That's great. That is so good. That is so good. Special attack rose. Yay! Try attack. He's gonna go for that spiky shield. There's really no point. Imagine if I could, like, just set up. Imagine if I had, like, nasty plot and I just set up. I can get nasty plot. I just realized that. That would have been so sick. Oh my god. That would have been so amazing. Really does suck that we don't have EV Light anymore, but we are gonna be able to outspeed it and kill this chestnut for sure. We are at plus one special attack, so that is honestly amazing. Alright, Mega Beedrill Scary. Mega Beedrill is honestly really, really scary. I want to try... I, I need to, like, Thunder Wave it. I need to catch it on a Thunder Wave. Like, that'd be... If I Thunder Wave it, that's pretty much game. Like, honestly, he wouldn't be able to do anything to me after. He wouldn't... Oh, hold on, hold on. We got a kill. We got a kill. Hold on. We got to think of the other kills that we got. Oh, boy. You know, I'll just have to watch the video over, probably. But, um... P2... Chest... Not fun, Duris. Kill, uh, was killed by chest. Not who killed Garchomp? Uh, Rotom Garchomp. And I'll have to look at my team again to uh, figure out who else because he's got now he's got because that's four kills and he's got he's got um, uh, Lando and. Mega Beedrill left, so that's fine. Got those right. Here's Lando. He's gonna lower my special attack. Yay. <laughs> and now I'm free to just go for... You know what? I don't really want to get damage on this thing. I'm gonna go out to Rotom now. I'm gonna go out to Rotom. We'll see if he goes for Earthquake here. I cannot... I don't need... I can't get any damage on... Porygon too, because I, I need him to live uh, what's it called, so I can kill Mega Beedrill with Psy Shock. I think Mega Beedrill will die to Psy Shock. I'm max special attack, I'm modest. I, he has to die to Psy Shock, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, so we're switching out, as I said. We're gonna go out to Rotom. And if he pulls the double switch out right now, I'm gonna I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Because he, why would he go for a U-turn? That doesn't make any sense, because then he die to a try attack because I'm at plus two right now so that would not make any sense at all um so all right so we're gonna switch out go out to Rotom if he u-turns he's real but I don't think he would u-turn he's gonna go for earthquake yes oh my god that's so good so now I'm just gonna go for hidden power ice I'm gonna go for hidden power ice because it's safe it's the safest play I can make right now and if he brings a Mega Beedrill, I think I can live no matter anything, no matter what. So that'd be really good. That'd be really, really good. Um, we have three Pokemon left. So yes, okay, we're good. Everything is everything that we broke down is correct. Not bad. Um, his team, I can erase. Crook, I can erase. Chomp, Gengar, and Chestnut. And so he is definitely Choice Scarf. So that is great. That is great. So Rotom, it's going to be MVP probably. Rotom takes out Lando. So now all he has is his Mega. 
Nice, nice, nice. All right, so Lagan. This is the Beedrill. He's gonna take some damage. And I'm just, I think I'm just gonna burn this thing. If I miss this Will-O-Wisp, I'm gonna cry. I seriously will cry, probably. Um, Poison Jab is probably gonna do a lot. It might even kill us, I'm not gonna lie. But I feel like I need this damage. I mean, if I can get a burn, I'm honestly just gonna say that's probably GG. That's probably gonna be game if I can get a burn here. If I can burn this thing, I think that might be game. But I'm probably gonna miss my Will-O-Wisp, but I'm gonna lose. That'd be very unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate. I'm, I'm about to get... I'm so mad right now. Because if I do that, I'll lose. That's basically how it's going to go. I'm so mad right now. Poison jab. Don't kill me. Just don't. Just don't kill me. We lived. He got the poison. I'm fine. Just hit the burn. Just get the burn. Please. Thank you so much, God. Thank you. Like, thank you, anyone. With the Pokey gods, the Pokemon people, the Poke... The polka gods out there. All right, and what I'm gonna do is actually switch out to Fortress because I don't want to lose Rotom. Although he's kind of rendered useless right now, um, I'm j I don't want to lose him because then that counts as another death on my team. And I'm gonna go out to high. I don't want to lose him. Uh, that'd be real. It's you know normally I'm not a huge fan of the 6-0 thing. Really not. I'm this isn't. I'm not even trying to get more Pokemon so I can. Uh, have an advantage on him. It's just like I don't want people to I don't want Pokemon to die because that counts as a death on them And I wouldn't really I don't really like that. So full switch now. He's gonna drill run me I think I should be able to live that honestly Yeah, that did nothing So we're just gonna volt switch Until he's dead and I'm gonna go ahead and say I think that might be game after we switch out I'm going to p2 We're gonna go into p2 we're gonna get that download. It's gonna be attack. Ain't nobody care. He's gonna get burn damage. And I think we should just end this off with a nice and powerful try attack. And I think that might just go ahead and be game. Hopefully he doesn't crit me and I die. That just really suck. Uh, I still think we, ha we we still have the game after that. I'm pretty sure, but it just be very unfortunate to see a crit, uh, especially. All right, so definitely that's gonna die. And I think I'm just gonna write down P two Mega B drill. So there we freaking go. We have our first victory of the PBF Season 1. That is freaking awesome. We just beat the Akron Aerodactyls. I do believe, we, of course, we are the Detroit Red Wingles. And we are proud. We are. We just got our first win. We are freaking hyped. So if you guys did happen to enjoy this battle and you are hyped, make sure you guys go ahead and demolish that like button down below for me. That would be very much appreciated, guys. Our support on these PBF battles will be very much appreciated. So thank you guys so much for checking out this video. Make sure you guys check out our opponent in the description below. And I'll see you all next time. Peace out.